see in this diagram, a thrombus in the portal vein. Portal vein drains blood from GI organs and the spleen to liver. Liver, then, establishes metabolism and drains its blood to systemic veins via the hepatic vein. In portal vein thrombosis, there is obstruction by a clot. Blood is prevented to reach the liver. As a result of that, reversal of flow develops. Sites of portosystemic anastomosis become congested. Patient can present with bleeding esophageal varices and hematemesis and vague abdominal pain. Physical examination can show enlarged spleen or splenomegaly. The liver itself is not affected. If we get liver biopsy, we will find normal hepatic tissue. Also, ascites does not develop. Ascites happens in liver disease when there is less protein synthesis, so hypoalbuminemia and decreased oncotic pressure. Or if there is hepatic vein thrombosis or heart failure when there is increased hydrostatic pressure. So, as these are not happening in portal vein thrombosis, ascites does not occur. Causes of portal vein thrombosis depend on the age. Newborn may have it secondary to infection of umbilical cord. Older children may get it from spread of infection of appendicitis. And adults can have it from the effect of polycythemia, cancer, or blood stasis from pregnancy or surgery. Diagnosis is established by Doppler studies and treatment is usually medical.